everybody it's Wendy and today we are going to make a necklace using products from the bargain bead box June 2021 edition okay so it was called navigator and it has kind of a very nautical theme um, and yeah if you're not familiar with bargain bead box it's a monthly beading subscription service you get about I don't know 60 65 dollars worth of beading supplies delivered to your door for $17.95 a month that includes your shipping. It's a really great deal. And you also get a 30% off coupon to use in their sister store, Beadbox Bargains. Um, and you can use that coupon over and over all month long as much as you want. So it's really a great box. Um, I love it. I usually get about 10 or 12 pieces of jewelry out of it. Um, and yeah, so if you're interested in subscribing, I do have unboxings on my channel if you want to look at that playlist. But if you're interested in subscribing, you can use the link that I'll provide in the description box below. And you can use coupon code WENDY2 and that will get you $2 off of your first box. If you don't want to subscribe, you just want to shop in their store, you can use coupon code WENDY2 and that will get you $2 off of your purchase in their store. So let me just, um, <laughs> full disclosure, I just filmed this video, okay? Just filmed this whole necklace, did it, it was looking great, and my camera is giving me issues today and it had stopped recording like way back in the beginning <laughs> and didn't tell me and I did not realize. So I lost the entire thing, basically. So I'm having to refilm the video. So when you see the some of the components here are already manipulated, I've already done things to them. That's the reason. So, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did, okay? So if you wanna make this necklace, you're going to need the chandelier focal that was in the box this month. So we're going to turn it sideways. We're gonna use it like this. Um, the reason I'm doing that is they had this pretty much the same focal. I've got glue on my hands because I did glue all these crystals on. Um, but we're they, they had this pretty much the same focal a few months ago or very similar. And I did a necklace with a lot of dangles and I didn't want to do that same thing. So I thought, how can I turn this? How can I manipulate this and make it something different than what I did before? So we're going to turn it and make it this half moon shape. Okay, so you're going to need this. The crystals that I have glued on are a 12 ss in montana blue okay this is spark brand crystals i got these from dream dream time creations so 12 ss in montana blue and a pp24 in siam and these are swarovski okay they're very tiny little pointed chatons pp24 in siam and all i did is i took my e6000 so here's my glue this is my e6000 and I use a toothpick, plain, and a toothpick with some beeswax on it. Now this beeswax toothpick, you can get the beeswax at Hobby Lobby. It is in the leather working department. And all I did was I took my glue, I scoop a little bit and put it on here with this one. Then I pick my crystal up and set it on here with this one. And I've done Montana blue. Then I've skipped one, if you can see, in between. There's a crystal and then the second hole has no crystal. Then I've done the PP24 in Siam, then skipped one, Montana, skipped one, PP24, skipped one, Montana, and went all the way down like that, okay? And just did the whole thing, um, one blue, skip one, one red, skip one, one blue, the whole way down. That's all I did, okay? <laughs> so I'm sorry the camera quit recording. I don't know what its deal is, but that's how that happened. This is how this whole thing came about, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little charms and we're just gonna glue one, or not glue, we're just going to hang one on each of these um, little loops. I can't think today. Um, I was trying to find some jump rings. Okay, so I have some small jump rings here. And I'm just going to hang my crystal or my um, little ship's helm pieces on these loops. We're just making a little focal that's all we're doing and then we're going to put it on a chain and bead on it okay so this is it these little ship's helm charms everything i'm using except for the crystals well i'm using the crystals i'm using the coriana chain but all the beads every one of the beads and the charms and the metal the focal piece here all that was from the box this month so we'll put this on here and here's what we've got we've got a little focal now if you wanted you could glue a crystal in the middle of those but I think I'm just gonna leave them plain 
And now we're going to take our Coriana chain. Here we have this. This is found on my website. I've got 24 inches of it. So what I have done is I've measured myself and then I've written down like each type of necklace. So for a Y-shaped necklace, I know I've got it written down that I need 15 inches to the connection point and then that's how long I want it to be on each side. So this would be a short necklace, but not a choker, because I don't want this to hang down real far. You could make it a long necklace, but I'm, I want mine to be short. So short necklace, but not a choker. So I know for that I need 24 inches of chain. So I've got 24 inches of the Coriana chain here. I have two crimp tubes and two clamshell covers to finish the ends. I have a lobster claw. I have a larger um, ring for the lobster to clasp onto. I have an extender chain and I've already made the dangle because like I said, I filmed this video already, <laughs> but you all know how to make a dangle. So, And then I have these beads from the box. So I'm using the um, English cut crystals, the little blue rondelles, and the opaque red rondelles, and the little spacer beads. Okay, so all those beads from the box. So now all we're going to do, we've got our little focal here. I'm going to use a jump ring and I'm just going to hang it right on my chain it's going to be the middle point you know it's going to be in the middle and then i'm going to beat up both sides a little bit with my beads so let's hang this on here okay so there we have it there's our focal and now i'm just going to put i'm going to do a little blue rondelle on each side these are so pretty i love the color this deep dark navy. I think they were called indigo in the box. I heard a lot of people complaining that they looked black. Mine don't look black and I don't even have that great of eyes. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe other people got black ones. Mine look blue. They look dark blue, but they're definitely blue. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know where the black came from. They're dark blue, but they're not black. Okay. And then we're going to slide the little, we're going to put a couple of the opaque red on. Then I'm going to do a silver spacer. I'm going to do a hex cut bead or English cut. I keep saying hex cut. English cut bead. Um, let's see. I think I'll do another silver spacer after that one. I'm going to do another English cut bead. This is just a, totally your own creative control. You guys can do this however you want. This is just this is just what I'm going with. And I'm not going to do a ton of beads on this. I don't want a whole big bunch. I just want a few. Um, I really like this chain. I think it's pretty. And when you hang, I, I just, I like for it to show. So I don't usually, when I use this chain, I don't usually bead up it a whole lot. I just do the, the center and then I'm pretty much done. Okay, and then I'm going to do two of the little rondelles, one on each side. Okay, so that may be all that I do. Let me see here. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't really, like I said, I don't really want a whole big bunch. Now, if you wanted to crimp this right here on either side, you could and just use a crimp cover if you wanted. Um, just to keep them from floating, but honestly, I don't, I'm not really worried about that. I think they're going to hang just fine, especially with the weight of this focal. It's going to pull them down, so I'm not going to do that. So now we're just going to finish it. So you're just going to put your lobster claw or your, uh, oh goodness, clamshell, <laughs> these nautical terms, clamshell right on there, and then your crimp. And these are two, no, I think these are three. These are three millimeter crimp tubes. Um, I usually use two inch crimps when I use beads, just crimp beads, but you're just going to put this on and smash it down. Now look, you don't have to smash it down like Superman, okay? Um, you just need to smash it down to the point where it's secure. So if you can pull on this and it's not going to come apart, you're good. If you smash it down too much, you're going to cut your chain. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, and then we're just going to close up our clamshell. And if you're worried about the security of these, then just go ahead and put a little dab of glue in there before you close your clamshell. 
um, put a little glue on your crimp and then it's not going to go anywhere once that glue dries. But I've, I've not had too much issue with these coming undone or anything as long as you don't cut your chain when you're smashing down your crimp. Okay. And we're just going to close this up. And there we have it. So super easy. Let's put our big ring on for our closure and our extender. Now, this is not the Rolo chain that was in the box. This is just a slightly larger link one because I'm using a 16 millimeter um, lobster and it won't clasp onto the smaller Rolo that was in the box this month. So you just, if you're going to use a, if you want to use the Rolo chain that was in the box, just use a smaller lobster. If not, just use a bigger chain for your extender. If you even do an extender. And then we're just going to put the lobster on here. And we're done. And this is going to have a necklace or a, a bracelet and a pair of earrings as well. I just haven't done them yet. So if you want to subscribe to the channel and ring, you have to ring the bell or you won't be notified when I upload the new videos. If you ring the bell, then it'll tell you when I upload because so, this is going to be a whole set. Okay, so there we go. Let me put this on a form and show it to you and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so excuse the mess in the background. <laughs> I've got so many projects going on right now. But here's our necklace. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I really like this. So there's our, our little um, ship's helm wheel. We've got our focal and it's nice and shiny. Let me put the light back down here. I was turning the light up because, well, you still can't. I don't know, I'm having issues today, like I said, with my phone. I don't know what the problem is. But anyway, there it is. It's uh, got the little crystals in it, ship's helm again, and then up, and we've got our Coriana chain coming up. So I really like this necklace. I think it turned out cute. I'm not sure I'll keep it for myself. I may put it up for sale because I don't wear a whole lot of nautical stuff, but it would be great for the 4th of July, though. But anybody that likes nautical will probably love it. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to get off here and film some more videos. Like I said, I have a bracelet and earrings to this set. So I uh, will put the links in the description box below for Bargain Beadbox, for my website, and for the coupon code. And you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Somebody is really, really, really tired. Hey, Sadie. Oh. <laughs> Goodness, it's nap time, huh? Yeah, I know. I can't reach you. I'm filming. I can <laughs> rub your belly with my foot. Oh, it's nap time, isn't it? Time for you to go night-night for a while or take a nap. Oh, oh where are you going? Oh, I just zoomed in on you. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube, Sadie Sue. Say hi. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> You're too cute. I just totally woke you up, didn't I? I thought you were out like a light, but you're just kind of out. You were just barely sleeping. Oh, okay. Say bye-bye. I gotta get work done. Oh. <laughs> Sadie, say bye-bye. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Cute face. Well, can't seem to click off my video.